Here I am again at storage. <laughs> it's a regular thing now. I like to move things around. Look at this. I mean, you know, even with storage, I'm shifting. I'm constantly shifting all of my bins, everything that I own. <laughs> okay, here I forgot to put up my curtain for the, for the day. I didn't do it in the morning, so now I have to do it. I feel safe here today. Things are really calmed down here at the storage. And I feel like I can kind of clean things up a little bit. You know me, I love to keep things clean. I'm gonna shake out my towels, get the hair out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, van life is a very active life. And I know if you are a nomad, and I know some of you are, you're living the life. How you doing with all of this? Shake things out, move things around. <laughs> For me, it's like I do not like crumbs. And even just like this was from, I think I changed the towel Saturday, which was two days ago. Then yesterday was Sunday, so I think they're probably a little bit of crumbs. I ate, made sandwiches during the day, and hair falls off. I think somebody told me uh, like a hundred hairs fall out a day. Something like that, maybe a thousand, I don't know, but quite a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna put them all down, but this is the way I like it. I like to have a clean space. I am not comfortable. The same was living in a house. When I lived in a house, once a week it was cleaned. And I I think I blow it the Swiffer. I think I Swiffered my floor once a day just to get little pebbles. You know, cuz when you're living in the desert, you're going to you're going to bring in a few pebbles. So, yeah, it's just a matter of laying down my towels now that they're shaken out and I feel like I can be comfortable. So if you don't get the hair out right away or get the crumbs out, they kind of grow in the corners, which I do not like because I don't really have a vacuum. So the storage is a nice place to do this as long as the storage is a safe place. It has to be safe because Literally, I'm the only one. I'm down this long hall, this long driveway. I'm the only one down here. I have to check over. I have to check my notes. Now, what was I supposed to get while I'm here? Yeah. This is my mouthwash. I keep in a large bin, I keep a very large package of mouthwash. And then I have a very small one and I, I needed to refill it. I like to have my mouthwash. Here, I needed, on the very bottom, I needed to get another butane, just in case. I like to keep two, one that's I'm um, using and then another one I put in a bin, just in case. If I'm gonna make coffee, I don't wanna, in the middle of the night, or make tea, I don't wanna run to the storage, or I couldn't run to my storage at that point. Well, here's the point where I now put everything away. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just a constant shifting around. If you're in a high top, you don't have to go through this. But there are advantages to having a minivan. And this is not one of them. Shifting around. It's like the shifting dance. It's a game. But everything has a place. I like that. I'm very organized. Well, duh. <laughs> I think that's obvious. So many of you say, oh, you're so organized. Well, you know, I think after six years, I've got it down pat. And if you're new to this, you'll get it down pat too. You will. It's just a matter of just going through the fire. You're going to be out of your comfort zone for a while, but soon you'll be in the groove or in the zone, as they say. Now here, I'm trying to find something in particular, but I'm not having much luck. I did find my shemag, and I found some um, leg warmers. You know, like dancers wear on their ankles. Looks kind of cool in the winter, but you know what? In all seriousness, it's just a matter of a week or so, and I'm going south, and it's gonna be summer again. And then I have to put all that stuff in a bag and bring out my summer stuff again. Whoops, I thought I heard something. I'm peeking around. Yep, there's my shemag. I enjoy having a storage. Oh my goodness. I really like it. I am so thrilled. I keep talking about it, but I'm so thrilled not to have to carry every little thing around with me. Well, let me do a double check. I got everything. I'm still looking for something in particular, <laughs> but I'm not having much luck, so. Maybe I put what I'm looking for way down into the basement area underneath everything, which means I'd have to take everything out, so it's not that important. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. What do I like most about van living? Well, especially in my minivan, I actually like not paying rent. That's my first love, really. Um, so today I wanna to talk about some pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like about it. I suppose what I really don't like about it, if there's any, you know, and there, there are a few hassles. It's not all rainbows and unicorns, or as I say, <laughs> balloons and confetti. Woo, yeah, one big party. Um, but one thing that I don't like about it is, Yes, I can't carry as much stuff. I can't enjoy as many things and stuff as I could in a house. You know, in a house, you've got your cupboards, you've got your closets, you might have your garage, <laughs> you know, you got your back room. Yeah, I mean, you can like enjoy more things. I do like accessories, I do like clothes. So yeah, I do have to really scale things down just a little bit. If I was in a house, I could go in there and oh, you know, yeah, I think I'll wear that. Something I wore last year, more colorful, things like that. Some of you have asked me, why do you wear so much black? Well, black goes with everything, doesn't it? <laughs> I know. Well, what else do I really, really enjoy about minivan life? I enjoy, the small space of it. I really do. And the freedom to drive where I want to go. My suitcase is always packed. So wherever I go, you know, that is really a plus. Wherever I go, 
if I, I, I don't have to worry about, oh, I went to somebody's house and I forgot something. No, I just can run out into my minivan and pick up what I need. I remember um, probably about three years ago, I was in Tucson and I was at my son's house and we were going to have dinner and they ran out of paper towels. And I said, well, hold on, let me run home and I'll get some. Ran to the parking lot, got him a thing of paper towels and brought it in for him. So yeah, I mean, there are those advantages that always have with you everything that you own or basically most things that you own. What What's another thing that I don't like about it? Let me go back and forth. What don't I like about it? Well, I do have a list of things that basically a lot of you, I did sort of a research, did sort of a, my own stats on what you don't like about um, van life, about living in your van. Number one was the weather. Oh, well, yeah. You know, a lot of you have actually commented, I could never, or, or say basically, well, I could never go to Arizona, which I don't understand that. Oh, I know somebody said I could never live in Arizona. You got snakes, bugs, and the heat and the cold, or the heat. Snakes, bugs, and the heat. Well, let me just address that one. I am serious. And I've been boondocking. I've never seen a snake. Ever. <laughs> I mean, I've been in, in Arizona for 40 years. I've never seen a snake. A bugs? Well, yeah, you know, there are some big bugs. They're big. You've got polyverde beetles. You've got sewer roaches. And... <laughs> They're huge. They they can be about that long. Let me see. That long. Yes. And they're about that wide. And it's like if you stepped on it, it would crunch you'd crunch it. But it would still run away. It's like they're built with armor. They're not your typical cockroaches. They come from the sewer. So even people that live up in the foothills, the very wealthy, they'll get sewer roaches in their home. Okay, so yeah, the bugs, mm-hmm, but it's not horrible. And then the heat, well, you're right. I mean, that's why I'm in Flagstaff right now still. It's still cold, although for like three days, here's the dealio, for three days now, it's gonna be warm in the afternoon and it's gonna be hot anywhere else. Yuma, where a lot of um, nomads probably have taken off to. You got Yuma and Quartzsite and uh, Tucson. Not that many nomads go to Tucson, except me, <laughs> actually. Well, yeah, I mean, but don't don't go where it's hot, okay? And then when it gets start getting cold, go south or go to, it's really not so much north and south, it's elevation. Like Quartzsite isn't south. Quartzsite is not southern Arizona, but it's very low elevation. So that's why it's, um, it's really hot there. But weather, yeah, I mean, <laughs> At some point as a nomad, you have to deal with it's hot and it's cold because in the middle of winter, which is basically January, February in the United States, well, maybe not Florida, but in most parts of the United States, it's cold. Even in Yuma, it's cold. It's just going to be cold in the morning. And then in the afternoon on most days, it will... Uh, warm up a little bit and even in Flagstaff in the heat of summer there were there was a couple weeks where it was like I'm dying here I'm dying yeah it was really hot so but it's few and far between what you do is you follow the good weather okay so what else do we got oh break-ins that should be number one worry is break-ins. A lot of you worry. You shouldn't, but a lot of you do. You really worry about things being stolen. Well, after all, everything that you own is in your minivan, basically. So, yeah, I mean, break-ins can be um, daunting to think about, but don't think about them. Just cover your windows when you leave. When you go into, you know, be careful where you park. When you go into a store, try to park. I'm watching. I don't know why all of a sudden there's these three semi-trailers 
parked here and somebody was trying to get through. They could barely get through. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. And they're parked there. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why. They just sort of, one got there and now today there's three. Because this is a nice, kind of nice place to park. I found a really nice place to park during the day. A little bit of shade. Yeah. Um, Break-ins. Um, be careful where you park. It goes a train. Park where a lot of other people are parked. If there's nobody parked there, I wouldn't do it, you know? And then you're gonna, if you're gonna be gone for a while, I just wouldn't do it. I would park where other people are parked. So, as far as pros, what else do I love about the minivan life? Well, I like the freedom to move whenever I want to move. I can change my scenery looking out my windows at all times. I just change it. Yeah. Another thing, too, that I really like is that meeting new people. I do enjoy meeting new people. Yeah. So, yeah, if you if you are going to be a nomad, I would definitely, definitely get to Quartzsite this year. I, I'm, I'm still not, I'm still on the fence on whether I'm going to go or not. I'm getting a little tired of, of Quartzsite year after year after year after year. Which brings me to <laughs> another downside the wind in quartzite the wind the wind is fierce out there in quartzite but i think what i've experienced is that the wind is okay usually around um when the rtr is going on and there's meetups and things like that there is no meetup this year by the way not not as far as i'm concerned but i'm sure other um band channels are going to have meetups so I think that the wind really doesn't start till maybe like the second week of February. That's when it's like fierce. I mean, it can be up to like 45 miles an hour. Yet people that have tents or shower uh, tents or whatever, they have to put them down, put rocks around them so they don't go flying off. And then when the wind subsides, they, they put the poles back up and bring them up. Yeah. So yeah, I mean the wind, but go to Quartzsite. The wind can be fierce. Another thing, well, another downside um, that I find in the nomad world is finding shade. I am forever coveting uh, solar panels to park under. <laughs> I'm always looking for solar panels. When I get to a new city and I'm going to be there while I'm just driving around looking for solar panels. Not everybody has some. Uh, Tucson's pretty good about having solar panels. And there's a few in Flagstaff, few and far between. But um, thank goodness the summer isn't so um, stark heat. But even in the cool weather, I do like to have shade. I don't, if I get out of my van, I don't always want sun on my face all the time. Well, if I'm out boondocking anywhere, especially um, in Quartzsite, there's no shade. So that's kind of a, a bummer as far as living the nomad life. It really can wreak havoc with your skin. You really have to take care of your skin, everybody. And I'm talking to the guys too. I mean, you can get skin cancer the same, not to put this on anybody, but you can still get uh, problems with your skin as well, at, the same as a female. But us females, we don't want to get all wrinkled up and dried up looking. So, yeah, and van life, that's what I'm really careful with my skin. And if you notice, I mean, I, I'm not always out boondocking. No, I like being in a city where during the day I can go places and I'm inside. I mean, it's the same for you, but I still do the parks and I do all that. I have to lather myself up with um, sunblock. So what else is a... Um, <laughs> well, some of you would say, for me, I mean, I don't mind it. I think the potty system living in a minivan is is, is pretty cool. And here's, <laughs> here's why I say that. Some of you are going to be like, oh, no. I have better control of my bathroom things, of 
<laughs> my body fluids. I have better control of that. Like if you're going in a toilet, it's kind of, you don't really get to see like, ooh, what color am I dealing with here? To see how healthy you are. And it's the same with number two. I mean, when, <laughs> I know this sounds horrible, but I have better control. I can actually see. I have better guidance on what my body is doing and how it's doing. Because bowel movements really do matter. And that's as far as I'm going to go. You need to keep track of what's going on. You can tell the health of your um, your body with foods that are going in, things like that. And I will mention that nomads talk a lot about poop. <laughs> we just do. We talk a lot about going to the bathroom, especially number two. It's like, oh yeah, how do you do number two? How's everything going? How's <laughs> and I'm a not a kidding. That's one of the big topics of nomad life is pooping and your bathroom habits. How are you doing with them? How's your system going? Well, so I don't mind that. In fact, that might even be more of a plus, right? But for a lot of people, they don't like it. It's like, I want a toilet. I want a bathroom. And there are a lot of nomads who actually do in the morning. They'll, they'll be close by to somewhere where they can go to the bathroom and use a regular facility. Okay, enough potty talk. Yes. People say... Oh, they appreciate my um, transparency, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very transparent. But it is true. Nomads talk a lot about bathroom habits. How they do it. How things are going. Mm -hmm. Did you poop today? Uh-huh. It's a good day. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Showers. Well, I suppose that's one of the big complaints is trying to find showers. If you're out boondocking, no, you're not going to find showers out there. Some people actually take showers outside. They have a shower tent. But it does take a lot of prep to do that, putting up those shower tents and things like that. Yeah. When I'm in the city, I use Planet Fitness or um, I wa what I do is I wash up. And I use, a lot of people said tea tree oil. Explain tea tree oil. This is the tea tree oil. Just go on Amazon and type in tea tree oil. I can't even find this anymore, but there's so many other. It's tea tree oil. There's no mystery to it. Um, in, a, in a little bit of water, about this much water, in my collapsible bucket, I put five drops of tea tree oil and I wash up. Not my face. I do my face first and I use a face cleanser, a real CeraVe face cleanser. And then after I'm done with my face, rinse it and everything, then I drop in the tea tree oil and I start here and I go all the way to my feet. <laughs> yes, I wash up everywhere, even the private parts. Oh yeah, and I wash up really good. And then what I do is I lotion up afterwards. A lot of you have said tea tree oil can be drying, it can dry your skin. Maybe it can, but um, so I like to lotion up. Well, those are some of the main things that I like about um, the nomad life, that I like van living, living in my minivan. But I also included like the top, how many did I include here? One, two, three, four. I included about four or five of the downers. And these are were listed as I found online and in some of the other van life videos that they said they didn't like it, of the things that they complained about, that they didn't like about it. So van life is a lot of fun, but it can also be a hassle. You have to adapt. I mean, you have to take the good with the bad, right? So you just have to weigh it out. What do you like or what do you don't like? Can you handle it? Some of you have to move into your vans and I just want to warn you that there are things, there's going to be a lot of things. If you have to go, you might go kicking and screaming, but you have to do it. But there's a lot of good things that will come after you kind of settle in with it. But there are some things that will always be kind of a bummer. And you just put up with it. Well, thanks for watching me today. I love you guys. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Go to Minivan Lee for products, you know, for jewelry. Negators. <laughs> the book. Yeah, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow.